Alright, so what is going on guys? You've probably clicked on this video because you want to become a Rush Chad in 2023. So, to start this video off, we're going to start with your console commands and keybinds. You want to go to controls, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then once there, find developer console, and then keybind it to F1. Once you have that keybound, open it with F1, and then go to the description of the video, and we will start with the combat log. You will copy this command, paste it in. Once pasted, hit enter, and then press F2, and it will open up your console command. And inside your console command, there will be a bunch of information. So for example, let me just quickly shoot one of these bots to show you. You open the console command, you see how it says plus four events in the last 10 seconds? That means that it hasn't shown what I recently did, so I have to wait a second. I'm gonna reopen it a couple of times, there you go. So. Normally this would say you, then player, or player, then you, depending on who did the damage. The first name is whoever did the damage. So if it says you, that means you did the damage. If it says player, that means they did the damage. Now the, sec the second place where it says NA everywhere here, it should say player or you, depending on who took the damage. So if it says player here, that means that the player took the damage. Then over here is their old HP, so how much health they had before you shot them or how much health you had before you got shot. And then right here is new HP. So how much they have after you hit them or how much you have after they hit them. It will also tell you here where it says info at the top, if they died or if they're down, I believe. Maybe not down, only dead. And also here tells you how far they were distance. Okay, so that's console command next. I mean, not console command, combat log. Next is my FPS counter in the bottom left. If you would like that, just type in perf1 and that will come up. After that, we have the skinny AK. So if you look at my AK, it's skinnier than usual. That command is also in the description. It's this. And I'll show you what it looks like normally. So if you don't have it on, it looks like that. It's a bit fatter. So everyone likes to play with the skinny AK. So it will look like that. We also have a FPS boost command, so if you're in a intense PvP area, there's a lot of players and whatnot, your FPS is dropping, you can bind this command and then just press the whatever key you bound it to and it will freeze your game for a second, so make sure you don't do it in like a middle of a PvP. Do it where you're safe, it will freeze your game for a second and then it will clear all the cache and stuff. This command here helps you when you're on cargo or oil rig. It gets rid of the wave so you can see better. Uh, this command here will help you open furnaces quicker, boxes quicker. Also, when you have a building plan in your hand, it will open the UI quicker. So that keybind is very helpful. Uh, next, I have the mouse wheel FOV toggle. So if you look at my screen now, I'm on 90 FOV. I recommend playing 90 FOV. If you can't, I uh, recommend playing anything near to 90 FOV. The higher the FOV, the more you can see left to right. Uh, I know it makes it harder to see enemies from a distance, but that's where this keybind will help you. So if you're aiming at an enemy who's far away, and like, or you can't really see them, you're trying to see if you can see an enemy over there, you can scroll your wheel up, and there you go, it will zoom in a little bit. This will change your FOV to 60. Um, I'm not sure if FOV affects spray pattern, but it surely feels like it to me personally. So I always scroll wheel back down so I can zoom out before I start shooting. Uh, so that's the FOV scroll wheel. Next, I have a keybind that will bind a key to craft bandages. So if as long as you have craft, uh, craft, as long as you have cloth on you, you will press whatever key you bound. So for me, it's B and it will craft bandages as long as you have cloth on you. You don't have to open your menu or nothing. So if you have like a slot in your bar like that, and then you spam the craft, it will craft bandages right there so you can start using them. Next, I have a kill key bind, so you can kill yourself if you're down and you wanna quickly respawn, uh, or if you're like low on food and you just wanna kill yourself so you can respawn, uh, it's that command right there. Uh, next is head lurk command. So if you see when I let go of alt, it's pretty much instant. Uh, you have to bind. You have to bind this to a command. To a command, you have to bind this to a key because when you reset your client, it will just reset to one. 
So every time you load the game back up, you want to press the key that you had it bound to. So I'll show you, for example, this is what it will look like normally. You see how it's kind of like slow? And then when I press the key bind, there you go. Uh, next, we have auto run and auto swim. So if you're in the water, for example, and you're like, you're kind of AFK because you're swimming, and swimming's really long in this game, you just hit O on the keyboard for me or whatever you bind it to, and it will jump and then it will start swimming or running. Um, the reason it jumps is because when you're in the water, if you hold jump, it swims you to the surface. So basically the whole time it's holding jump for you. But if you wanted to use it to auto run as well, you can too. It's perfectly fine. Uh, that's in the description as well. Next I have auto attack and crouch. So for like soft siding or whatever, I would just press Z on my keyboard, for example, or you can change it to whatever you want, like I've said a thousand times. And it will just crouch and start auto attacking. You can also... Yeah, that was silly of me to talk. It will crouch and start auto attacking. You can also use it to just auto crouch. So for example, you'd put your weapon away, crouch, then press the attack button once, and now it won't attack, and you can just stay crouched. Don't know why you'd use this, but yeah. I also have another keybind in the description, which will bind uh, a key to craft full metal kits, AK, attachments, ammo, meds, and wood high walls. Um, to use the keybind, you need to have leather, HQM road signs, uh, HQM road signs, lol, no, you need leather, HQM road signs, sewing kits, rifle bodies, wood, low grade, cloth, metal frags, springs and gunpowder and tech trash as long as you have all those items on you you can stand next to a tier 3 or if you're on a 10x you just press the key bind and it will craft it will instantly if you're on a 10x or if you're on vanilla or 2x it will just queue them all up and start crafting them uh lastly we're going to go over hover loot very important i have it bound to my mouse button on the side of my mouse um whenever i go to loot something i just hover my mouse over all the items, so for example this top row, and I would just press the mouse free button, which is my side mouse button, and it will do that essentially. If this was obviously a box or something, it would take all the items out of the box and put in your inventory as quick as possible. Uh, quickly I'm going to go over my graphic settings, uh, you can pause the video just to copy them if you would like, uh, not everyone would need these. So yeah, I just have them like this. Uh, grass displacement, make sure you have that on, even if you're copying or not. Uh, it basically displaces the grass. If like a gun rolls over the grass, it'll be a bit more flat so you can see it better. Uh, we'll go down to mesh quality. Uh, tree quality, I change depending on how bad my FPS is. Object quality too, I change depending on how bad my FPS is. Uh, tree quality affects like how good the trees look. And uh, obviously this affects you being able to see through them. So the better the quality, the more likely you can see through them. The worse the quality, the more likely they look like a big blob. Uh, next, we're going to go over good recoil practice. So good recoil practice would be practicing the first few shots. Once you have those down to the point where it's a laser beam like this, you would practice the rest of the spray. I would never advise anyone who shoots like that to try practice the spray, it's a waste of your time. If you're shooting like this, it's not worth your time to practice the full spray. Because if you come against a Rust Chad, he's not going to be shooting like that and missing the first three bullets. He's going to be hitting the first three bullets and the next three. And you're going to be dead before you could even hit one or two on him. Because you've not mastered pulling the mouse down as soon as you shoot. This takes a lot of practice to actually master being able to just seamlessly pull the mouse down as soon as you shoot. I would also advise practicing this on multiple weapons, not just on one. It's just good practice. And good practice will lead you to be a better player. So yeah, practice the first three shots on most weapons. Once you have those down to the point where your crosshair or your iron sight doesn't move like that or doesn't do that, like if you're jittering, like 
letting it go up, then pulling down, that's a bad sign. You want to be pulling down right as you're shooting, so it doesn't even move, really. It wants to be dead on your target. And like I said, don't just practice the AK, which I did for at least a year. I only practiced AK, I was shit with every other weapon I picked up. And um, yeah, that's really bad news. I would advise to practice MP5, Thompson. MP5 is a, is a very tricky one because same with Thompson to be honest, but most weapons are like that. The bloom is really high on this game to the point where even if you have laser, like your crosshair will not move at all, or your iron sight will not move at all, it will be on the head the whole time. You have the chance of not hitting every headshot because of bloom. And that's just unlucky. That's nothing more than just RNG, to be honest. But yeah, once you've mastered it to the point where you've got the first three shots down, they don't move anywhere, you can keep the, the red dot very consistently on their head, I would then advise you to start opening up and learning the rest of this rate. Because even if you only know the first three shots of the pattern, those first three shots will get you a kill 90% of the time. If you can hit them all headshot, yeah, you're going to get a kill 90% of the time, especially if you're not playing 10x. Most people are running around hazmats. They ain't running around full metal as much as with a modded 10x. And yeah, please don't laugh at my spray. I haven't been playing a lot lately. I took a massive break from Ross just due to a lot of the cheaters. And not only that, just me feeling like I hit a skill ceiling, to be honest. Like, I couldn't improve my spray any more than it was. But then, I recently come back, and I'm playing on a higher sensitivity, so now I've actually improved my spray, because now I can stand spray a lot better than I used to be able to, even though I'm not showing it right now. But yeah, a higher sensitivity is actually... Uh, a bigger profit now it's worth playing on the higher sensitivity now whereas with the old recoil it just wasn't worth because the spray was just so defined on the old recoil like standing or crouching it was i think it was the same pattern i'm 90 percent sure whereas now with standing the pattern is like that and whereas when you're crouching it's like that i don't know if you could tell the difference but yeah my gun aims way more to the sky a lot quicker now I don't know if you're noticing that. But yeah, I hope this helps. Um, I would advise for the crouch spray and the free round bursts, it takes around two weeks for your brain just to, because it's all muscle memory, for your brain just to remember the muscle memory, it will take you roughly around two weeks of practice. If you get it before two weeks, obviously, you got that mega brain, I don't know. But two weeks is roughly how long it will take for your mind just to get used to that. And don't get disheartened when you go try it and you can't do it and you think that I'm cheating because the person who taught me, I thought the same thing. I watched that guy for literally weeks doing it over and over. And I, I kept practicing and that's how I got here. If you don't keep practicing, you will never get to this stage and you will never actually get to the best that you can be. And of course, there is the best that you can ever be. So don't feel disheartened if your best isn't as good as my best, because that's what happened to me. I got very disheartened when I saw other people's sprays. And I saw how like good their sprays were compared to mine. Even though mine is good, trust me, there's people out there that are like insane. But yeah, I hope this video helps you. I'm gonna leave you now. Please leave a like and subscribe if it did. And yeah. Peace.